The Chinese Communist Party is aiming to dominate high-tech industries across the world, including the agriculture sector by 2025. China is highly optimistic about its lined-up modernization in the agriculture sector as if everything falls in place. It's pretty obvious China will lead the industry, especially the agriculture sector. By using modernized technologies like artificial intelligence, machine learning, automation, and robotics, China is extending its boundaries to revolutionize the agriculture sector. Already, all the innovations and integrations in the traditional system have astonished American scientists. With the minimum use of resources, they're producing insane amounts of yields. They're aiming to feed all the mouths of their country with safe, sustainable, and delicious food, which is cultivated in a sophisticated environment. What are the new trends in the agriculture sector which are surprising American scientists? Are other countries also adopting such techniques to excel in the agriculture sector? Agricultural policies are at the heart of China's development plans. The Chinese Communist Party aims to develop and modernize the agriculture sector, but most importantly, they're trying to improve the quality and nutrition of crops, which means they're trying to cultivate and harvest plants organically. Their vision is pretty clear as they aim to build a modern agriculture ecosystem where labor-intensive tedious tasks are replaced by tech-savvy machinery. Already, some of the modern agriculture platforms are extraordinarily monitoring gigantic farmlands with the help of drones and pattern modeling. There's some help required for farmers. They immediately send a helping hand by which farmers can smartly continue doing their work. These platforms have turned mobile phones into intelligent environmental tools and resources. With such amazing technology, they can maintain hectares of farmland efficiently and quickly. This is not the only step taken by China to improve the agriculture sector, but they're also working on some techniques which will provide gigantic yields with reduced use of fertilizers and pesticides and save water. One of the modernized farming techniques is hydroponics, which saves gallons of water, and there's no use of fertilizers and pesticides as well. In this method, plant roots are submerged in the nutrient-rich solution in a grow tray. Nutrients are replenished a few times a day with the help of a reservoir below the tray, a water pump, and a timer. Potatoes are highly benefited from this technique, as with just a little water, the plant produces maximum yield, and the exciting part is China will soon gear up to be a major producer of potatoes globally. Mostly this water-saving technology is used in indoor farming. China has very few amounts of arable land, but they also have a burden to feed its population, so they came up with excellent ideas for indoor farming, especially vertical farming, which is successfully practiced in some parts of China, and you can easily spot them in the urban areas and skyscrapers. One of the exceptional benefits of switching to this modernized vertical farm is that scientists are using 94% less water compared to what was used during the conventional farming. This is because they're using the technique called hydroponics. This vertical farming is well monitored, protected, and managed, which provides surety to the growers that they'll be having the best quality crops all around the year, and can also opt for a repeatable production without depending on natural environmental factors. So there will be nothing like a seasonal crop. All the crops can be easily grown all around the year. Amazing development, isn't it? Indeed it is. The next solution China found to meet the increasing demand is by converting deserted lands into arable lands. Is it possible? Well, China has already converted hectares of the deserted area into arable lands, and the output from this technique is insane. The deserted area in China is currently 5%, which will boost up to 15% once their motto of constructing forests and cultivating crops is successful. This greenery all around the total Chinese land will help in reducing the carbon dioxide in the city. By carrying this process for a few years, this land is perfectly suitable for producing tomatoes, rice, watermelon, sunflower, garlic, and corn. One exciting cultivation in this greenhouse project was growing white strawberries. This was one of the most unique ideas of growing strawberries with a twist, and this idea triggered amazingly, and now Chinese farmers are gaining tremendously by selling these strawberries. So the modern techniques and integration and technology adopted by China are phenomenal. Not only American scientists, but the entire world are surprised by the crazy pump in the agriculture sector, especially in the last three decades. Finally, what are your thoughts on China's excellent improvements in the agriculture sector? Will America compete with China to lead the agriculture sector? Do let us know your views in the comments below. That said, if you enjoyed watching how China has developed in the last few years, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more such exciting content. See you in the next video.